Let's go to Patrick in Cleveland, Ohio. What's up, Patrick? Hey, Dr. John. Good to hear from you again. You too, man. So, okay, so catch me up. You called, uh, I guess, several months ago, and we talked about some work struggles. Remind me of that. Yes. Yes, sir. We did. We talked about how I was uh, battling, you know, being overwhelmed with my career as well as trying to balance the three bands I'm in. And oh, yeah, up. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Did you quit yeah. one of the bands? <laughs> I, ha- I haven't yet, but I'm working on it. What I a promise. sucker, dude. <laughs> what a chump. You're one of those guys that calls for wisdom. And you're like, ah, I'm not going to do it, but that's cool. No, man. I, okay. I've taken everything you said into heart, so. <laughs> I know. It. I've taken it into my heart. I just haven't done any of it, but that's cool, man. Um, so as a part of that call, you mentioned something about your girlfriend. I said, hey, man, that's a whole other call. Call back another time. And then you did, which is awesome. So yep. tell me about what's going on. And I can give you yeah. another round of wisdom that you'll just put into your heart and then go on about your day. No, I'm going to do it, man. You're not, you're not, but go ahead. (laughs) So basically uh, my girlfriend and I have been living together and dating for four years now, just north of four years. And she has every right and every reason to want to take our relationship to the next step. I'm not denying that at all. And I give her every reason to, but you know, I'm in this position where I feel like everything going on in my life and in my own mental instability, I feel like I'm just not ready for that yet. I feel like I'm not ready to marry her. I'm not sure if it's what I should do if we're meant to be together, if I'm even fit for marriage at this point in life or ever even. Then break up with her and let her go, man. But it's like... I, then I break up with her and let her go. Yeah, okay. It's like I don't want to do that. I worry that if I do that, I'm going to make a huge mistake because I'm not sure if, if I'm just self-sabotaging and I do this in any relationship I'm in. A hundred percent. Yes. Yes. And yes. And then yes. On top of that, the reason I just told you to break up with her is I wanted to see your reaction. Okay. Um, I think you'd be making a huge mistake. Quite honestly, I do. Mm -hmm. Um, you're playing family now. Right. You're playing married now. Um, so what you're trying to do is have both things at the same time, kind of similar to trying to have three bands at the same time and mm-hmm. work a full-time job, but also keep this little, this little music thing. You have a grade A, like na- flashing neon sign fear of going all in on something. Mm-hmm. And if you want to do that to your career and to your other fellow musicians, great. Don't do this to your girlfriend. I agree. You know what I mean? I do. Absolutely. And um, here's why I'm speaking directly to you like this. Cause I'm you. Mm-hmm. I'm you. The number of times I've taken a job and within six months, I'm already applying out just to see what's out there. I don't feel comfortable. Or I think something's going to be mean to me. What? It's just putting two feet in the ground. Mm-hmm. And I didn't realize that I was dragging my wife through that, and I was. I didn't mm-hmm. realize that I was dragging my kids through that, and I was. And they deserve better than that. I deserve better than that. And the people I work for deserve better than that. All that to say is this. Your issue is not my issue. Your issue is your issue. Four years is enough. Make your decision mm-hmm. and move on with your life. Mm-hmm. It may be this. Yeah. Here's another yeah. thing. Uh, I went skiing this weekend with some friends. Have you ever been skiing? Water skiing? No. Okay. Nope. Um, you're water skiing behind the boat. Um, it kicks a big way, wake up, right? So it splashes a lot of water behind you and it creates a wave that you've got to get on one side or the other of it. And if you're skiing and you find yourself and you, it's, and you find, oh no, and you're split, you got one leg outside the wake and one leg in it. It's super unstable. And at any second, you feel like you're going to face plant because you are. And usually you eventually face plant unless you can get one way or the other out of this thing. You got to get back in the wake or you got to get way outside of it where the water's like glass. Okay. Mm -hmm. I wonder if a ton of your anxiousness, a ton of your feeling in, in like you're, you're feeling like you're, uh, have this just profound instability, some of your mental health struggles, if you will, are because you ride the fence on everything. You're riding the wake on everything. 
Mm-hmm. Make a commitment, man. Let me put it this way. What you're doing isn't working. Try something else. Try it for six months. You can't try marriage for six months, but um, try quitting the bands. Try what it's like to go all in on a band or two. Try what it's like to go all in on your career. Try what it's like to go all in on your wife. Just commit. I'm in. She's it. This is it. Mm -hmm. Why won't you do that? Why won't you give yourself that peace being inside the wake or outside, man? You're just riding the worst part of this thing. It's like, it's, it's so hard to describe, but, um, you know, growing up and I did touch on this in the last time we talked, but I had an extremely unstable and unhealthy upbringing. My mom painted the worst picture about women to me. Okay. She poisoned my head about women. They're this, they're that. They're going to ruin your dreams. They're going to ruin your life. Don't let this happen. You know, she was the mother of five boys with five boys. And it's just like, she painted the worst picture of women. I've had tons of girlfriends tons of intimate relationships and I almost feel more comfortable like being with multiple different women and starting something new and riding that honeymoon high than I do like being involved with one person. I feel more comfort in that. And I Patrick, know but look at your healthy. life. I know. I know. It's a disaster. It's chaos. It's chaos. Yes. And so you can't tell, you can say that it's um, less scary initially. But it's killing you. It is. And I don't want to be this way. I want to want to marry her. I don't want to lose her. Like, I want to be in a position where I want to run down that aisle and, and not have and, any Here's how you regret. get there, Patrick. Here's how you get there. Choose to run down the aisle. There is no magical moment. There's mm-hmm. not this moment you're going to be walking through a grocery store and all of a sudden the lights are going to shine on her in the right way. Mm-hmm. You decide, I'm going to run down this aisle. I am going to go all in. You've seen people on stage who are timid players and they, it, they make for a terrible, um, they make for a terrible show because mm-hmm. they won't commit to the music and then having fun while they're up there. Is that fair? No, absolutely. Yeah. You're, you're waiting for something that will never, ever come. And you're dragging another poor woman through it. Don't do that. I know. I don't want to. I, then don't. So much better. I then know. don't. <laughs> then I need that extra don't. reassurance. <laughs> I know. It's like, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't want to pee on the floor. I just don't want to. Then don't. Go in the bathroom. It's like that. Yeah, I know. Um, so I want to ask you something. Recently, you know, her and I have been seeing a, a premarital therapist. I wanted to get some external insight on our relationship. And it was almost like, you know, I wanted to hear what she would say about, about us or, you know, should you be together or not? Um, I had a couple one-on-one sessions with this, with this therapist and, uh, she diagnosed me with uh, borderline personality disorder. Now, I don't know if that's really a big deal or not, but it certainly does make a lot of sense. Borderline personality disorder is, is one of the most challenging um, mental health disorders. Mm-hmm. Very, very hard. Very, very hard. Mm-hmm. I believe that I have that. Okay. It definitely aligns. Yeah. So. <laughs> so you have to make a choice of a life of volatile explosions and a trail of people who loved you and who are also hurt because you melt them or Mm -hmm. a choice of, um, and that's professional relationships, personal relationships, or you are going to put in hard work over the next three to five years. Um, of DBT and REBT, like there is treatment protocols for borderline personality disorder. It is very, very challenging. You're going to have to decide, I'm going to pull the string on like you just mentioned, these emotional highs and I'm going to learn to um, become one with my body and one with my emotions and learn what these signals mean versus what I feel like they mean. And you have to put that work in. Mm-hmm. And what I'll tell you is there's healing on the other side of that. It's hard, but there's healing on the other side of it. And if I've also seen people who don't deal with it, and it is a trail of pain. Mm-hmm. That's your choice, man. Yeah. 
I certainly am ready for the roller coaster. I, I can't live like this, and I know that I'll end up just hitting the wall, you know, at some point in life. I'm proud of you. I am now. I'm proud you know? of you for that. Thank you. Um, did your clinician offer you any? Well, let me say this. Number one, borderline personality disorder is overdiagnosed with regularity. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I would go sit down with a um, licensed psychologist in your area and let them know that I've been diagnosed with borderline personality disorder by a premarital counselor um, or a licensed, a licensed, uh, you know, clinical uh, therapist too. An LPC is fine. But mm -hmm. I've been diagnosed. I'd like a full um, diagnostic test on this. And then I want some treatment options moving forward. And there should be a good practitioner in your area. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. If you decide I'm going to get very serious about healing, know you're in for one hell of a ride. It's hard. Okay. Because you're having to relearn how you experience the world. People with borderline personality disorder experience separation as a flamethrower. They experience love and joy as a carnival. And so it's, it's learning to accept these different versions of how your body feels. You have to relearn how to do it. And it's hard. Uh, but it's also incredible. Okay. Okay. If, that, can, uh, that can certainly explain why I pretty much always self-sabotage things and... Does do those just that that does that example of a carnival versus a flamethrower? Does that make sense? Oh yeah. Okay. All right. Um, so so be about healing, man. Mm -hmm. Be about healing. Um, what's your girlfriend say about being married to you? She wants nothing more than that. It's like she understands this prognosis I'm dealing with. She wants to ride the ride with me. Okay. I guess I feel, I, I feel guilt almost like let her be an adult. Gonna, let her be an adult. I know she's yeah, a grown true. woman. Let her be an adult. True. If she says I'm in it, then you've won the lottery, my friend. And she's in it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, then you have to look sense. at her and say, I'll be in it too. Now I did ask her one other thing. I, I wanted to ask her that, you know, what if we just aren't meant to be together and you're I don't buy that. for this? There's no such thing okay. as that. Okay. Y'all right. can choose to not be together. You can choose to not be with her. But the meant to be together thing is is Hollywood fairy tale bull crap. Okay, I believe you. Okay. That makes that makes sense. You've been with her for four years. Y'all live together. You know. Mm-hmm. You know the ups and the downs and the sideways. Okay. Mm-hmm. She's flying like a kite out there in the wind. And she said she is um, willing to ride the ride with you, but she wants some security. And I want th she wants to be on the roller coaster with you, but she wants a seatbelt. And she wants mm -hmm. to know you're going to stay on the roller coaster. You're not going to jump off. Mm -hmm. And that's super, super fair. Yeah, absolutely. Or you can say, ah, I'm not interested in riding, which that's fair for you too. It's the riding both sides of the wake, man, that you got you to gotta quit. Yeah. Is that fair? It is fair. Cool. Yeah. All right, you're a brave guy. You're a brave guy. What I would tell you is now it's time for action. If I'm you or if you're my son or you're my brother or you're a friend of mine, I would tell you, go get a true, um, go get a true workup. Okay. If I truly have, I want to know if I've got a borderline personality disorder diagnostic. Not, and again, I'm not trying to, you know, spit on your, on your marriage therapist, but I want to go get somebody who is proficient and skilled in that and in the assessment. And I'll see if that's a true diagnosis. And yeah. um, if it is awesome, that's fully you. And there's some extraordinary gifts that people with borderline personality disorder have some incredible gifts, how they see and experience the world. They're a blessing and there's some intense healing that has to happen too. Is that fair? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Go be about it. Go be about it, man. And my hope is, um, my hope is the next time you call, which you will, you're going to call me back in a few months. You're three months, five months, six months into healing. And you're calling to tell me, hey, we broke up for good. I made the choice. She made the choice. We broke up for good. Or we're engaged. Um, not because we weren't waiting on some some you know, hawk to land on the telephone pole to be like, you're supposed to be together or some vampire to come. 
Y'all just made adult choices. We're in. We are all in. And we're going to ride this thing together. We're going to do it. And know this. Got borderline personality disorder. Healing is hard. It's hard. And it takes a long time. And it's worth it. Because I've seen the other side of it. And it's beautiful. It's incredible. 